In the following presentation we will present a model which introduces the concept of multi-objective optimization in the design process of architectural components. Multi-objective optimization consists of simultaneously optimizing two or more conflicting objectives or features. In the architectural design process this refers most often to compromises and trade-offs which the designer has to make between the underlying concepts and form, structure, materials and different performance-related aspects. The model presented here is a dynamic system based on interaction. The model will introduce the notion of optimization in the design process not with the intention to propose the best or most efficient solution, but with the understanding of more improvement to a desired goal. A design project usually starts with an information phase which results in the synthesis of a set of design specifications. These requirements and constraints are fundamental importance in the presented model because they are the cornerstones of interaction and ideation. Conceptual design is that phase of design where the generation, integration and communication of ideas and existing knowledge is most important. The presented model will assist the designer in making better decisions early on in the ideation process of development. It is a software construct which unifies different softwares and property scripts. It is an open-ended model that will assist the designer to balance the various aspects of a design problem with the goal of obtaining near-optimum functional integration and received coherence in the final solution. The model will act on certain predefined characteristics of an initial parametric geometry and it will do so in relation to a strict set of rules, boundary conditions, performance requirements and structural constraints. This initial parametric geometry will then act as the input of the system and will be prepared for optimization. The optimization tool acts as a black box. It will use genetic algorithms coupled to different existing off-the-shelf simulation softwares. Software such as Ecotect for daylight simulation, Abacus for structural analysis, or Random for thermal analysis. The optimization algorithm will then generate an intermediate selection of different to optimum solutions. These solutions will be presented as images together with a small summary of some of the most important results of their specific performance simulation. It will then depend on the designer which of the presented promising or good solutions will be selected and reseeded as phenotypes in the genetic algorithm. It will depend on the critical observation, interpretation and selection of the designer how many cycles the optimization tool will run. For a design model to function as a bidirectional design explorer and provoke collaborative synergies between designer and computer it must provide the designer with reliable information which can enable and stimulate interaction and ideation. Some of this information will be quantitative and can be presented in objective numerical values. But the most important information for a designer is qualitative, highly subjective and open to interpretation. This kind of information can only be presented through visualization and this visualization is ever more important whenever the information is perceptual, emotional or cognitive. Within the model we can distinguish three possible iterative processes. The first iteration happens on the level of the optimization tool. In the second cycle we look for acceptable solutions and choose among them for the most interesting ones. Which will be used for further exploration and optimization. In a third cycle, the designer will interact with the criteria which were chosen as design drivers in the very beginning of the first iteration. 
and eventually, the designer would come to learn more and get better informed about the specifics of the design task. This reflection in action could force restructuring of the process. Or reformulation of initial proposals. In this fully digital design press, production of more or less detailed models and eventually full scale prototypes can easily be integrated in the process. The model is still a work in progress and not yet fully functional. Thank you.